I want you to look well at this face. This is the face that will preside over the summer of destruction. Here we have Destructo, who is the blue player in our game. Blue player in both games he's been in so far. I want you to look at his eyes and ask yourself what he sees when he looks at the world. He doesn't like stupid people. He'd like to meet Jacques Cousteau. He likes, likes adventure. He went to uh, the Vatican and met the Pope. And he went to Mass four times, but he's a Jewish man. So that tells me that he likes adventure. He likes the ocean. He likes water. He likes computers. He likes Hunter S. Thompson. He likes things that he thinks are strange. He likes to blow things up. He likes the fact that he's a balding man. He's destructo, and I wonder if he doesn't feel slightly disassociated from the world, slightly at a loss to feel just maybe why he likes to destroy, maybe why he likes large adventure, um, dramatic things in his life, in his life that's maybe sheltered. You have to imagine that if you're really into computers, you have this sort of filter uh, between yourself and everything around you. And maybe you have that anyway. If you're really into anything um, that's not the whole world, maybe you have this sort of um, filter. And here is our board at the start of the Summer of Destructo. Destructo did not do well last turn during the spring. I think he would he probably did one of the had one of the worst performances. So let's take a look at where he is. He he has the majority of regions in um this like northern kind of uh brownish green olivey uh uh, region, but he doesn't have them very strongly. You know, he's he's lost a cube, a lot of cubes in a lot of his areas, which makes sense because he's destructo and he likes to attack things. Um, that's going to limit him. His his main area of of expanding, um, without running in running afoul of Sunny, is through here. But Achigo has nothing, um, so he's got that to deal with. His his two big spots in terms of cube holdings are Iwami and. Kazusa, um, and his only building is over here in Totomi, which is this lone uh, temple, and he's in competition with the temple uh, for the most temples here with Sunny and Hitachi. So he doesn't have a lot going for him at this point. You know, the game's not over by any means, but he definitely has a very uh, weak position, I would say. That said, the um, the events and everything have been dealt, not the events, but the um, actions have been dealt out, the special uh, abilities have been dealt out, and they're very fitting for the Summer of Destruction. So we start out with an attack, and then you build a majestic palace, tax, uh, and a little bit of reinforcement, then another attack, and then all the other buildings and reinforcements and getting of rice and everything is all at the tail end of the season. So that's pretty destructo. And then also the first two... Um, Things in the turn order are both destructo type things, you know, getting more armies and then uh, getting more armies when you attack. So um, everyone else has already picked their actions. It's time for destructo to do that, and we can do that together. Okay, so the first thing destructo needs to decide, um, he's going with the easier decision first, is what to do with Awami. And then maybe that's not the easiest decision, what to do in the east. So he's got, you know, sufficient resources to, to do something there. However, he also is next to this giant um, mass that Junior has built up. Now, he's figuring Junior is focusing at the capital, but there's that's not to say that Junior won't turn around. Now, luckily, Destructo hasn't built anything here, so it's not very attractive for Junior to come after Awami. Still, it remains to be seen whether um, you know Destructo can do anything with that. He does have this uh, easy target here in Akai, which is very tempting to him. However, that could rise the ire of Pinky. Um, I think he is going to use make use of it, though. He's not going to use it as his first attack. So he's going to take Iwami and put it under attack A. So that will be the second attack, um, which well, it gives it gives Pinky a chance to, to reinforce, though. So maybe he'll do that in attack B. We'll say tentative for attack B. So in the east here... Um, there's this Awaboso, which is this nice open province. Again, you know, if he takes this, he's going to be running into Pinky again. Um, but 
he wants to take it before she does. However, he also has Sonny to deal with. Now, Sonny is is depleted as well after their their skirmishes of last um, last turn. However, he's less depleted. So he's threatening Sonny in two different places here with his his main forces in Kazusa. Um, however, none of them are threatened to the point where he feels like he can crush them. It's not to say he wouldn't try it. Uh, Destructo likes to to smash people into the ground if possible. That doesn't seem to be in the cards. So it might be better for him to think about what he can reinforce so that he can get the numbers later. Um, he has the, the forces in Totomi. That's probably not going to be his top priority because there are there is a good chance due to these events that um, Totomi would be immune from attack. Uh, now as a launching place, Totomi's pretty nice because it's adjacent to three things. Um, Kazuki is adjacent to two, looks like two of Sunny's things. Mutsu is adjacent to Hitachi, um, but it's also adjacent to Shimotsuki here, um, which Kazuki also is. Kazuki might be his top choice. He'll do his largest reinforcement in Kazuki because that would give him a nice chunk there that he could attack um, you know, three different Oh, actually four different provinces, potentially, on a future turn. Um, Achigo, he probably needs to get some reinforcements in Achigo as well, so that he can start expanding westward. So we'll put his second reinforcement there. And then what to do about Mutsu? He might just have to go with the solitary reinforcement in Mutsu, just so that, you know, it doesn't... It becomes less inviting to attack it from Hitachi. Now, uh... Let's see, that's going to cost him five treasure chests. He's going to want some more money, and he needs to start collecting rice as well. So let's take a look at what he has left. We have Totomi, which gives him six. And where's Totomi at? Totomi's down here. So Totomi might be a good place to collect taxes from Kazusa and Sanuki. Kazusa is the only one that gives him fair... Well, Kazusa's where he has all this, though. Hmm. Sanuki? Where's Sanuki at? So right, Sanuki is right here, and I had to look up what happens. Um, this goes back, it becomes a neutral territory. So he no longer has Sanuki, although it didn't get taken from him, um, he did lose it. So he might have to, he has to decide now. He has to get rice from somewhere, right? So Tatomi would be a decent place to get rice from, um, which means he's going to want to attack from Kazusa because he wants to attack, he doesn't want to lose that opportunity. Um, and then next turn he's going to have to get some rice from somewhere. Oh, Destructo. So Destructo's all chosen. What didn't he do? He didn't He didn't tax, um, so money is going to be a problem. He decided to bid one chest, however. the um, this, this card is very attractive to him. He would like to get that because that's going to give him some cubes doing what he wants to do, which is attack. Um, you know, he's going to attack from Kazusa. He's planning on going down here in Awaboso, taking that. He might change his mind, though, and hit Shimosa or Musashi. Um, those are, that's going to be his, his second attack, so that's going to happen here. He's going to give Sunny a chance to do something first before he does that. He's going to hit, um, he's going to hit Pinky fast and hard here in Aki, though, so we'll see what he does with that. He hasn't done any building, so that's going to hurt him on points, I think. Um... And he's not, I guess, I guess he's going to pick up a point by taking Alabo, so I, I couldn't see him not getting that province. So that's, that's good for him. Um, all right, let's resolve. And our temples are immune to battle. It's a religious holiday. Um, anyone who had the gall to attack a temple would risk the wrath of the gods, and so no one's going to do it. Um, our Destructo, he did not get the top bid. He got the second bid, however, so he is going to get the um, recruitment bonus. Junior bid two chests. Uh, he had more money to work with, so that's that's why it happened that way, and Destructo has to pay. Sorry, Destructo. And that's kind of unfortunate, because he's yeah, he's not going to get the, the, the free bonus armies. Um, Junior had more money to work with, so Junior bid more. Um, got what he wanted. Destructo and Junior both kind of are, are on the offensive. Bummer for Junior. So he has his attack beam in Masaka. He was going to come in and try and take Bichu from the Shogun. Um, 
Unfortunately, Bichu has this temple here, and so he's not going to be able to take it. Uh, and that means he also doesn't get to use his um, his bonus in this case, the bonus cube that he would have gotten. He yeah, may, if I considered that, he would have picked a different spot. But yeah, I think he has another attack coming, so that's going to be something. Um, he is going to move out of Mimasaka his forces to to Harima, just so. Which is nice, because then he can he can start expanding eastward. Destructo is attacking from Awami. His big attack on Aki down here. Now, how many forces does he want to put into it? I think he's going to go with four, try and get like an even group. He'd really like to smash Pinky there, um, but is worried about counterattacks. Maybe he'll put five in. And yeah, he easily... They kind of slid through there like water this time. So he's got a nice four in Aki. Definitely spread out a little bit. If uh, Junior decides he wants to wants to feast on Destructo a little bit, he, he shouldn't have too much too much trouble. Some more good news for Destructo. Sunny revealed his B attack nothing. So that's going to be nice for him. He's not getting hit from Musashi and Kozuki or Mutsu from Hitachi. Um, those are, I think, the areas he would have been most nervous about. And the Shogun just took Hokey from Junior. This is <laughs> this has got to be really upsetting to Junior. Um, not only did he lose the province, but he um, he lost his second attack. So Junior, who has the special attack, special thing, which he spent two, two chests on, is not going to get to use either of them. That's already been decided. And we just did the... Um, little re reinforcement move uh, action and the only Destructo news he added a guy to Mutsu and um, Sunny reinforced Shinano from Kai uh, what else? Zumo got another guy didn't move anyone alright it's a, it's the A attack which again is the second attack this this season um, Destructo changed his mind he's attacking Shimosa from Kazusa Here's the cubes that are going to be placed into uh, the tower. One of them was already in the tray. Almost went for Awaboso. Changed his mind at the last minute. Not sure why he did, but he did. Uh, just, it's more exciting, I think. Him. And, oh, he got crushed. He got crushed. Now, that's going to, those cubes are still in there. So, there's that. And he did leave some people behind, prudently. Maybe not enough, but... Enough, I think, to make it so that Sunny would think twice about attacking Kazusa right now. Actually, let's see who Sunny is going to attack. Uh, Saruga is Sunny's place of attack. Huh, I wonder what he was thinking with that. Saruga, he doesn't have really anything. Did I mix two things up? Dodgy. No, I think Saruga it is. Where is he going to go with that? Mm, so he's going to hit Sagami with Saruga, which is kind of an odd choice. But there is some history between Sunny and Junior, and he doesn't like to have this this little splotch in the middle of his area. I'm not going to do the combat with you because it's time for us to focus on Destructo. All right, we went through a lot of purchasing um, last time I talked to you. Uh, and here's how the board is looking. A lot of people are expanding outwards, but let's focus on how things are looking for Destructo. Um, the world's gotten a lot bigger, I, I want to say, overall. Um, Destructo still is kind of dealing with the same things, though. The other players, however, are starting to uh, encounter each other more. So here we see Shinano, this, this mountain of Shinano, which, you know, the little bit that Destructor did in Ichigo is not going to be enough. Luckily, he has some um, Kozuki nearby that's also large. Um, but Shinano is now, uh, Sunny is encountering through Shinano um, Pinky's, Pinky's cubes as well as um, getting close to encountering uh, the Shogun's cubes, Betty Crocker. And then from then over here, we have Junior who's also getting closer. So that's going to be splitting people's attention. Um, which is kind of good for Destructo, I think, in a way, because Destructo is still in the same little areas that he was before. He's dealing with Junior in the in the uh, west, 
And then the east, he's still um, dealing with Sonny. Uh, unfortunately, Shimosa, Sonny did a big build up there. Um, he's not going to be able to take it from Kazusa. And in fact, Kazusa might be in danger. Probably would have been wiser had Destructo gone after Awaboso instead. But, you know, it wasn't as exciting. It wasn't, um, you know. And the upshot of that is there are a lot of cubes, um, the, the, the leavings of Destructo's attempt at destruction are still there. The, there's little bundles of violence waiting to waiting to explode. So, you know, he could come back. He's still hemmed in. He's not, he doesn't have a lot of opportunity to take any neutral provinces like some of the other characters. He's also very poor. So, next, next turn, looking at Destructo, you're gonna, we're, it's really gonna be important when that treasure chest comes up there. He took a big risk by not taxing. A lot of people did, but he, um, he's definitely the weakest in terms of money. Junior also is not doing so well in that regard. Um, Rice-wise, Destructo is the lowest in rice too. So he's, you know, he's got a lot of, a lot of hurdles to deal with. And, um, Fortunately, we're not going to be talking about Destructo as much anymore, so you're going to have to just kind of look out for him yourself, because if you don't, I don't know who will.